What's up, everyone? In a perfect world, we'd be able to record all of our voiceovers in a nice, quiet studio into a nice microphone that is reasonably purposed for voiceover work, like this Audio-Technica 4040. But unfortunately, it is not a perfect world. And oftentimes, especially when we're doing video, uh, the sound quality and our recording capabilities in the field aren't great. Now, I don't feel like leaving my house, but let me give you some examples. You could be recording in a studio. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. Or you could be recording in a different room with a different fan and a refrigerator from the 1970s. Or, you could be trying to record in a room with a washer and a dryer running. Now, why you wouldn't just record after turning off the fans or turning off the washer and dryer or unplugging the refrigerator from the 1970s is beyond me. But, sometimes you don't have that luxury, or sometimes you're trying to get shots fast. But, if you do have recordings with noise in them, there are a few things you can do. The first is to use noise gates, like the one included in Cubase, and the other is to use a secret weapon that, although it doesn't come included in Cubase, it is free, and it's from a reputable source, and I'll tell you all about it when we jump into Cubase and manage these clips right now. Okay, so we're here in Cubase, and the first thing we need to do is import those nasty files that we recorded. So import, and I typically just do audio from video file, and then I export what I want. Here are my uh, three files that I want to import. So I'll just import garage first. Our living room, good. Let's just start with that one. So, okay. And there we go. And... So we've imported our file. This is our first file. And I know that I used the last take. I actually used more than one take. So uh, the first thing I'd like to do is just normalize it because that's what I did for the video that you saw earlier. So normalize. And I normalized to negative 2 dB. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. And let's listen to that noise. Do you hear it? Let's listen to it again. So what a noise gate is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a gate that closes when the sound is below a certain level and it opens when the sound is above a certain level. So let's put in the noise gate. Gate. Um, so if it's at 20 dB, you can hear it activate there and the noise goes out and... Recording in a room with a fan. So that's no good because you hear that it cuts off some of the dialogue itself because the dialogue is not above 20 dB. So what we need to do is dial this back so that 40 dB, or we could tweak it to taste, but... Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. That sounds pretty reasonable, but I think maybe we could try an auto-release. Uh, just let the computer decide when to release that gate and bump up our attack. That's how long it takes for the noise gate to kick in. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. And we're starting to get to where I'd like to be. Uh, analysis is either RMS or peak. So that would be instantaneous or average volume, more or less, if we're getting untechnical about it. But I'd like to make this lower till till I hear those footsteps and we're good. So I basically like to lower it until I don't hear the roof noise. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. Hey. That sounds like a pretty good setting. Now, another thing you can do is if you have specific frequencies kind of weirding you out, you can activate the side chain here and you can filter a scoop or a high pass or a low pass on the side chain. Uh, and basically what that does is it only applies to gates, the gate to that spectrum of the filter. So if you're saying, what does that mean? Let's add an EQ. Uh, so when you open the side chain, it, it is activated. So let us bypass the noise gate and look at the spectrum. So here's the noise. 
So the spectrum would be at 500 hertz, as you can see right here, with a Q factor of 0.1. So I can access this, change this to 500, change the Q factor to 0.1, but I think Studio EQ, yeah, the lowest Q is 0.5. But what you see is sort of a dip filter, like right in the middle there. And as you know, Q, as it gets lower, the spectrum is broader. As it gets higher, the spectrum is more narrow. So what you're getting basically is a filter at that range and the gate only acts upon this uh, set of frequencies. So you can have a filter type and you can adjust, you know, what hertz you'd like that filter to be at. So if you're actually trying to gate a specific frequency, using the sidechain is good. For a example like this where, let's just turn this off, you can hear the noise and it's sort of all over the place. I mean, you see some serious stuff going on here at one and there's some stuff. I mean, you could do some things with filters. You could apply a uh, low pa a high pass filter and a low pass filter, or especially a high pass filter and turn that on and see if that helps. And it doesn't really help all that much. So the gate obviously helps a lot more. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. Now I could go through all the clips and do this, but I think that this is a, a decent enough uh, explanation. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'll just turn this off so I just, I told you about a secret weapon. And uh, there we go, got it off. And let's uh, get to that secret weapon. It's called Rhea Plugs, and you can get to it at reaper.fm if you search uh, for. So the Reaper is a DAW, and it works great. It's a full featured DAW, it's sort of like Pro Tools. Uh, and it's an awesome DAW. It's great with audio. Their MIDI support, not quite as good as Cubase, but it's 60 bucks if you buy it. But if you go to reaper.fm slash Rhea plugs, and I'll leave a link in the description, you can get all of their plugins for Windows. So download Rhea plugs VST 64 bit, and you get all this stuff, a compressor, a multiband compressor, a delay, an EQ, and then this is the big bad daddy right here, the secret weapon, Refer. The subtract mode can build noise profiles and subtract noise from the signal. That's essentially how noise reduction in Adobe Audition or Isotope RX works. Their algorithms may be a little bit different and perhaps a bit more advanced, but if you want noise reduction and you have zero dollars, the Rhea plug suite is a good way to go. And I will show you how to use Rhea for to remove noise from the signal. So we'll switch this to Rhea Fear standalone. Discard our Studio EQ. So we're looking at this right now. That's the noise in the signal. So to use Rhea Fur, or Reefer, whatever you want to call it, the mode you want is subtract because we saw here, uh, here, subtract can build noise profiles and subtract noise from the signal. Cool, huh? So we're back here and we can automatically build a noise profile. This is the most frustrating thing in the world, but I will tell you now, and it'll save you a lot of time. You have to use the play buttons because if you hit the space bar, look right there, it enables it and disables it. So you have to hit play and then stop and then you'll have a noise profile. So the noise profile is built. That is what our noise looks like and the subtract will subtract this profile from the signal. So with the gate turned off, this is what it sounds like with Reifer in action. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. Now you get some chirpiness there, and you've definitely probably heard that. Uh, so let's see if we can so I think I've eliminated some of that chirpiness. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. And uh, you can lower this too, and it'll still provide some noise reduction.
Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. And it's less chirpy. And then you can use it in concert with our good friend, The Gate. And listen to what you get then. Or you could be recording in a room with a fan. Interesting, huh? So you can use Reifer to build a nose, noise profile and remove it from the room. You can move a, use a gate to just uh, have the audio silence itself when it's below a certain level. Or you could use them both in concert. And I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to let you understand how a gate can do well to eliminate noise from an audio signal that was recorded poorly or recorded in a noisy room or has some undesirable sounds that you'd wish to take out. And uh, I'll leave that link to the Reaper plugins in the description and I'll leave a link to Cubase in the description if you're interested in getting it. Uh, check out those links. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like or subscribe and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.